Hey, it's your boy Dre, coming at ya with another video, and today we're gonna do a small YouTuber tag. So I've been seeing this trend pop up on YouTube recently, some stretching as far back as a couple of months, some a couple of weeks, some a couple of days, and you know what it is, as the king of hopping on trends late, I was like, you know what, I might as well do a video on this too. Also, real quick before this video pops off, I am hosting a contest thanks to Survival Hacks. Um, I will either put, um, the rules in the description or links to those particular social media posts just follow the instructions in those particular videos do what they tell you to do and you should be good you'll be entered to win and um i'm holding out to get a few more entries but i'm pretty much close to picking the winners so i'm gonna pick 10 winners at random each winner will get a coupon code for 85 percent off their own personal purchase of a survival hacks tactical pin so if you're interested in that or if you wanted a pin this is your chance. Definitely enter into the contest. Now let's get started. So the first question is, what inspired me to start making videos? And um, the answer to that is, it was a combination of things. I had been really inspired by YouTubers, some big name YouTubers like uh, Superwoman, Liza Koshy, people like that who had a couple million subscribers or whatever. And I was like, I want to do that too. That's cool. And then I also kind of just wanted to have something that I could... Um, contain memories like in video format because you know sometimes it's easier to remember stuff when you see it in video version or whatever so um I was like I'll create a channel um to capture all the memories in my senior year because you know prior to senior year I wasn't really feeling adventurous like putting myself out there like that I was still trying to find myself in my confidence um but yeah that's really all I wanted to do I wanted to you know capture memories I also wanted to be like the other youtubers and then I wanted to be uh, entertaining and inspiring to people on the internet so channel was born so the second question is a two-parter the first part is how long have I been on YouTube approximately nine ish months maybe nine and a half something like that but roughly around nine months since the time I first started uploading and the second part of the question is have I had any other channels the answer to that is no uh, it's my only YouTube channel um, my only well, actually, I have two Gmail accounts, but I started the second one after I created my YouTube channel. So that way I could have, like, a business email, Gmail account, if that makes sense. So, yes, it's my only channel. been here for about nine months, so. Question three asks, where do I see myself and my channel in five years? Um, in five years, hopefully I would have already graduated college. So at that point, I'm trying to build myself into getting into the animation industry. Um, as far as the channel, who knows? Hopefully it would have, you know, exploded with growth in five years. And, you know, maybe we'd be a much bigger community. But um, regardless, I'm going to still love and uh, love on my channel, love on my subscribers, on my D3 squad, always and forever. Um, but honestly, <laughs> we'll see, you know. Life never really goes the way we plan it 100% of the time, so I have plans and preparations, but I am, you know, super flexible to going with the flow of, you know, life and whatever else happens, you know. So question number four asks, what message am I trying to get across in my videos? And um, I actually sat and thought about this question a little bit because I, I read all these questions and I sat and thought about them. Um, I'm not sure if I have a particular message in like you know all my videos like a set message but if i had to say that my channel had like a unifying message it would be you know don't be afraid to laugh um live life to the fullest um be encouraged be inspired um be courageous go out and do what you want to do don't let fear hold you back um things like that because like i said i created the channel not only to have fun and stuff but to inspire others and encourage others and to entertain others but also to be unapologetically myself you know and i mean if we're keeping it real if we're keeping it like 100 we're, percent, we're going 100 we're keeping it raw what you see in my videos is what you get in. the people who watch my videos who have gone to school with me for you know two plus years or whatever the people from high school middle school whatever they know that what you see in my videos is what you get in real life i am just as silly just as stupid sounding just as crazy 
in my videos as I am in real life and vice versa. There's no, let me flip the switch for YouTube. Like this is, this is all, like I'm filming this video in my pajamas. And I cannot tell you how many times I've gone to school talking about, I wish I was at school in my pajamas. Like this is real, okay? This is not, Dre's putting on a show. It's 100% Hey It's Dre, Dre, this is me. I, I don't even know what to say at that end, see? That's how raw this is. The so question five is, do people from school follow your channel? And I kind of sort of answered this a little bit, but the answer is yes. I have friends from elementary school, middle school, and high school that I uh, formerly used to go to school with that when I start the channel, I let them know they've been following, like loyal friends ever since. And I love them and I appreciate them so much for, you know, the times that they shout out my channel, shout out vid, retweet, etc., etc., etc. Thank you guys, you know who you are. I'm sure you're watching this. Love you guys so much. But to add on to that, I am going to college this year. So this will be my first year in college. So in that sense, um, only the only people who follow my YouTube channel from college are my roommates, actually. And they're actually really excited that I'm a YouTuber. So definitely expect to see them in some videos. Um, you'll probably meet some of them this week, maybe, since um, we have orientation. And I plan on bringing you guys along and vlogging, so hopefully you might meet some of them, maybe? I don't, I don't know. So question number six is, what does your username mean? And I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten asked this question yet. But, um, obviously the Dre part of the username comes from my name. Um, it's part of my name and it's my nickname that I go by probably the most. Most, what most people call me. Um, the hey it's part came from when I was thinking about the channel, because I had some serious like thinking processes. Like I was thinking about this super hard the summer going into my senior year. So I was like doing a whole bunch of research on cameras and uh, equipment and lighting. And, like, it was crazy. I was doing so much research and then I was like, well, I'm a broke high school student, so I can't afford half of the stuff that I just researched. Um, but <laughs> that that's like totally off topic. My bad. Get on ask about how I started the channel. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, um, part of my researching phase was trying to figure out what my username was going to be and like what kind of intro, outro type stuff I wanted to say and use and everything. And so I kept coming back to the, hey, it's, it's your boy Dre or hey, it's Dre, something like that. And so I was like, you know, that's kind of cool. And that would like be part of your intro. So it would like fit and be organic. So I took that and then I just threw the Dre part on and, um, the way I wanted to make it unique and like super easy to find. Like I wasn't really thinking about the branding and marketability of it, but thinking about it now, it is pretty easy to brand and market because it's like so unique. But I had the it's and Dre spelled like really weird because I wanted it to be unique and stand out, like to fit you know my personality. Like um this weird introverted kid who is now, you know, learning to become unique and stand out and become less introverted um i guess <laughs> and question number seven is who are some of your favorite small youtubers and um this is going to be kind of difficult um but let me first start off by saying that i consider a small youtuber anyone who has under a hundred thousand subscribers and honestly um i'm actually even a little bit stricter than that if you have more than 50,000 subscribers to me you're a bit bigger because at that point you're like halfway to 100 and it should be relatively easy for you to get to 100,000 in my opinion so um everyone on this list will have less than 50,000 but there might only be like one person on this list who has over a thousand subscribers so <laughs> so, so <laughs> Real quick side note, um, cause I got my phone so I could make sure I said all these channel names right or whatever, but I will link to these channels in the description. So if you're feeling adventurous or um, if you need a new channel, something fresh to watch, definitely check these channels out. I think that they would be great. Show them some love, support them. If you're one of my D3 squad, check them out. Say, hey, Dre sent us here. And you know, if you love it, you know, let them know, subscribe, show them some love, all that jazz. I totally didn't have to put on clothes because I had to stop filming and go to the barbershop. Nope, nope, didn't happen, didn't happen. Clothes who? Clothes where? These aren't clothes. So back to the favorite small YouTubers, I'm gonna rattle off some channel names. 
but like I said, their links will be in the description. Definitely check them out. They have all inspired me or influenced me or made me laugh or something like that in various ways and degrees. So for sure, check them out. Show them some love. Let them know that I sent you. Only Me Marilyn, Clueless Mama D. She also has a creator channel called Clueless Tips. Um, Korean Mama, Meet the Phillips. Myself, of course. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, Frenzy Gamer. So that's gonna do it for this small YouTubers tag. I hope that you guys found it insightful. Get to know a little bit more about me and my motivations as a YouTuber, I guess. That's the purpose of this tag. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but anyways, I do hope that you found it, you know, interesting or kind of funny or cool or whatever. If you liked it, you'd make a thumbs up for me. Uh, in the description, there will be links to my social media, website, all of that jazz. Check it out. Check out the other YouTubers mentioned in the video. Their links will be in the description as well. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I will also put the contest rules in the description as well. Definitely check that out. I will be picking my 10 winners very soon. And so I would love for you guys to get a chance to get your entries in so you could potentially be one of those 10 winners. And then last but not least, I could not end a tag video without tagging my fellow YouTubers. So this is my challenge to any other fellow creator who's watching and who is by definition a small YouTuber. If you haven't done this video and you're watching this video, I challenge you, I tag you, you're it, tag you're it, uh, step up to the bat, it's your turn to do this video now. But that's it for this video D3 Squad. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. I love you guys so much. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Remember, one love, one people, one world. Peace out, guys.